Hey, what's up, Justin here, and what I wanted to talk about today is being calm. So I think that the ability to be calm is a real skill set, and I think that being calm can be really positive both in regards to how you interact with other people, and also how you navigate the world just in general. When I'm calm, usually I'm enjoying life a little bit more, I'm a little bit more deliberate and concise with my actions, and also my words have a little bit more meaning and weight behind them, they're a little bit more thought out, and also with your interactions with other people, it also gives other people permission to be calm and not worry about life as much. So being calm, in my opinion, comes down to having thought out a lot of the worst case scenarios, deserving to feel calm, and also a little bit about your philosophy and your worldview. So in regards to having thought out a lot of the worst case scenarios, you have to really come to some deep acceptance of if nothing goes the way I wanted to in my life, if I don't achieve any of my dreams, then I'll be okay with that. You have to come to this deep acceptance of life maybe not being good at all, and if you can really spiritually uh, internalize that way of thinking, then you're gonna have this emotional equanimity to you where if things don't go your way or things are surprising, then you're just gonna be calm and you're gonna have that ability to just be present and enjoy whatever's happening in the moment for what it is, a part of life. It also gives you that kind of crisis leadership, you can call it, in your interactions with other people. When things aren't going well, you're the person who's putting up a brave face or a brave exterior. And it also gives you that way of thinking where things that do happen that go your way, you've got that deeper gratitude for all the positive things in your life. If you really thought out a lot of those worst case scenarios, with you deserving to feel calm, it's almost a paradox where if you give yourself permission to fully commit on accomplishing what you want to accomplish and achieving your dreams, those accomplishments in turn will give you that positive mental dialogue, that psychology where you can reflect on a lot of your accomplishments, no one else cares about them but you know that you've done what you've set out to do and that in turn gives you that calmness because you know that you can go out and achieve something again if you've done it in the past. So all that effort and that work ethic that you've put into something can in turn give you a calmness where initially it might take a little bit of anxiety and kind of hustling and running around and doing all that stuff but that can in turn give you that deep sense of calmness and contentment within yourself. So lastly with our philosophy and our worldview I think it's important especially in today's age that we don't really want to be one of those grass is always greener on the other side type of people. I think we want to meditate on the moment just before death where we can come to an acceptance of our mortality and just picture that moment right before death and what that might be like. And I also think it's important just to accept ourselves for who we are and realize that our thoughts and what comes out of our mouths and our actions when you're not really thinking about things that much is just you in a way where you have a role to play, you can contribute in your own uniqueness to the world and you don't have to compare yourself or really come to terms with what other people are doing as much as you and yourself and how you interact and how you belong in the world. So I hope you guys gained some sort of value from this video and I'll catch you guys next time.